Remind people that it is time to play Big Deal, No Deal. Big Deal, No Deal. Brought to you by Brady Industries, a provider of commercial cleaning supplies and equipment throughout the western United States for over 65 years. Brady Industries, clean solutions, a tradition for generations. Number one. Big Deal, No Deal. No football staff members officially announced. I say no deal. It's going to happen it's not, it's not like it's not going to happen. I don't care if I know three days earlier than I want to know. Like, if this happens after Christmas, fine. Coach Tatake has things under control with Tom Homo. Do you trust in Tom Homo? Do you trust in Coach Tatake? I say no deal. It's going to happen when it happens. I wish I could give you the countdown to kick off buzzer. That, eh. <laughs> this is a big deal, This is a no man. deal. This is a huge deal. One, simply just for recruiting purposes. If I'm a, a, a recruit on the line, on the fence of, you know, BYU or USC, and I'm a quarterback, and I, think, I hear that Ty Detmer is going to be the quarterback coach and offensive coordinator, psh, Coming to, I'm coming to BYU over SE or anything like that. So I think it's a big deal. The more time that you can you can gain um, and accelerate by having uh, recruits feel more comfortable and confident, then I would do that. And think about the recruits that are – Here's are, the thing, are, though, Brian. Think about the recruits that are committed. They can still decommit. Here's the thing. The recruits know. The recruits know. Mm -hmm. I think they know. I think Coach Tucker said, yes, this person's coming, this person's coming, this person's coming. Just don't say anything. It's not announced, though. I can't Google it. I know. You don't need to Google uh -huh. it. If the Google recruit, doesn't lie, bro. If the recruit knows, it doesn't matter. Bro, Google doesn't lie. If you Google something if you Google something and it's not there, then it didn't happen. You don't think so. Coach Tucker said, hey, if, if Ty Detmer's coming, you don't think he – he said Ty Demers coming with well, Of course he would a, use that. A, but as a recruit, I got to sit there and, and think, at the end of the day, you're a sales guy. You're trying to sell me on your program. So, uh, obviously, you're going to tell and me And I'm anything. buying. You're going to tell me, <laughs> you know, Tom Brady's going to come, Coach. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you can say anything, man. They know. They know. Number two. Big deal, no deal. Ziggy Onsen named to his first Pro Bowl. I don't know how this is in any way, shape, or form a no deal. This is a huge deal yeah. because the Ziggy Ansa story adds another just unbelievable chapter. Yeah. His this has to be made into a movie. This is the blind side like ten times better. I'm gonna stick with the theme of this of this show and what this does for recruiting. To to for, for recruits to see that there is a former NFL player that is tearing up in the NFL and going to the Pro Bowl, more recognition uh, for BYU and what the program can do for you after you play. He him. was not starting at BYU until mm -mm. midway through the season in 2012. Amazing story, man. And Amazing. now he's Happy going to the it. Pro Bowl in January of 2016? Tearing it up. What? Tearing it up. He's the guy that you made fun of when he was trying to run down the field on the special teams the first drill. Bro, I can't run straight. To curve. Tackle curve. the ball. Go that way. That way. That guy. Ziggy, this is a really big deal for BYU and for Ziggy. Congratulations. Number three. Big deal, no deal. Chase Fisher scoring only two points in regulation against Harvard. I say no deal because that game is done. There's nothing you can do about that game anymore. Ooh, I like that. I'm what say has to happen now is can you bounce back today? That's where the big deal is. So no deal that happened. It happened. It's like done. It. It's over. I like that angle, man. I'm still say big deal, though, because we, we've, we just talked about it with, with Anson, and, and it's obvious when you look at stats and numbers of wins and losses, Chase shows up or he doesn't show up. So if, if that's the formula, it's a big deal because now, like you said, you have to make sure that you produce. So, yeah, big deal. Number four. Big deal, no deal. BYU hoops one of and four away from the Marriott Center. Big deal. Yeah, this is a big it's deal. It's a big deal, this, man. This is a growing concern for you sure. Play, BYU you play home and away. I mean, the, the, the trend is getting down big by double figures when you go on the road. BYU did it against Long Beach State, came back, made yeah. it a game. They did it against Utah, came back, got within seven, made it a game. And they did it against Colorado, came back, ran out of time, made it a game. Does that sound familiar with BYU against Utah in football in mm -hmm. Las Vegas? Yep, exactly. Th this, is, this is a huge concern. Because you know, you know the you know the difference though in that game for, with, with with football because it was it was neutral and you had half BYU half Utah fans and you said it on on on, on the post game show 
the Utah fans, they were zipped. There oh, was it was so quiet. Nothing. Yeah, it was nothing. But the BYU fans were rowdy. And, and Mitch Matthews, I think, even said it. These fans helped us. To, to, we, they, we felt that they had our backs because they were cheering us on. They were motivating us. And that's a huge part of momentum, the momentum swing. And you can't get that away, man. You cannot get that because a, 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 a away crowd will shut you down in two yeah, seconds. In basketball, it's really hard to have – a loud presence yeah. in an in an opponent's arena. Yeah. It just is. So yeah, this is this is a big deal. BYU really they need a win today on an even though it's neutral, it's away from Still home. Away. They need it in the worst way for confidence. Number five. Big deal, no deal. A white Christmas. This is a big deal. It's what makes Christmas feel like Christmas to me. You're I've right. been in Palm Desert, California over Christmas mm-hmm. and a 70-degree Las Vegas over Christmas, and it just doesn't feel the same. But when you look out the window and you see snow and you got Bing Crosby singing White Christmas in the background and your family, it's what makes Christmas Mm. for me. Huge deal, man! You get my heart racing, man. I'm getting, I'm getting excited now. Now I'm really gonna go sledding. I, I agree with you, and I, it might be different with us. It's a big deal. It might be different for us because we're from Cali and we get this warm weather. But when I, when I am at home and I'm, and I'm watching, you know, Home Alone with my family, and I'm watching, you know, Elf and and all these Christmas shows. And you look out the window and you see just that what the white snowflakes just subtly dropping down, touching, kissing the it's window. It's magical. Seal. It is magical, man. I get warm and fuzzy. It makes me want to go put on a, an adult onesie. <laughs> 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 big, big deal, man. I love it. Love it. Please, please quote that and send it out right now from the BYU Sports Nation account. <laughs> it makes me want to go put on an adult onesie. Brian Logan, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>